The indoor track and field season is just getting started in the NCAA, which normally isn't noteworthy in the month of December. Many college teams don't even bother competing that early since they have to take a break for Christmas vacation anyway. So I have to be honest with you. I had no intentions of ever really making this video. First, because nothing that special ever really happens this early in the season. But also because I felt I had already made it clear what my sentiments were about Parker Valby. That was until she decided to interrupt my Saturday with an alert that she had just broken the collegiate record indoors in the 5K. And if I'm gonna keep being honest, I don't wanna be the guy who keeps talking about the same athlete over and over and over again. So I have no intentions on doing that after this video. But when a woman breaks a collegiate record in her first indoor race of the season in December, she's really forcing my hand on this one. The truth is that Parker Valby is the queen of the track in the NCAA. That's a big statement, but I dare anybody to tell me I'm wrong. Up until recently, her claim to fame, at least for the general track world, was as an emerging challenger to Caitlin Toohey, which later transformed into her proving that she just might be flat out better than her at this point. But that was then, and this is now. So it's time that I call it like I see it, because we've seen greatness on the track in the past, and it looks exactly like this. Jay-Z and Kanye told us to watch the throne, but there is a legitimate reason for that, because the only way somebody really gets to sit on that throne is if they snatch the crown for themselves. Parker Valby right now is doing that, and she's daring everyone else to try and catch her, which is highly unlikely, and this is why. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. First things first, let's address the collegiate record that Parker Valby broke because she didn't just become the indoor record holder. She shattered the record by running 14 minutes and 56 seconds. The old record was almost 20 seconds slower than the one she just put on the board. If you need perspective for that, if any collegiate man broke the collegiate record in the 60 meter dash by that percentage, he would be the world record holder right now. She'd be the field of pros and top collegians in order to win that race. But what makes all of this even more surprising is she did all of this in her first indoor race in December, just a few weeks after winning the cross country national championship. Typically speaking, distance runners who competed for that long and that hard during the cross country season aren't expected to compete, much less run that fast until at least a month or two later. Beyond that, Parker Valby's record is so impressive because it feels like we're watching a sequel to a blockbuster movie that just came out last year with a new leading lady. If you remember the action movie Triple X with Vin Diesel, they made a sequel to it shortly thereafter, but Vin Diesel wasn't in it. They actually used Ice Cube instead for some strange reason. But unlike those movies, Parker is proving herself to be just as good as last year's star, whose name you should already know by now. It's Caitlyn Toohey. Because last year, Caitlyn broke the internet and collegiate records in both the indoor mile and the indoor 3K. She did it in January and later in February, en route to winning double gold at the NCAA Indoor Championships after just winning the Cross Country National Championship. I shouldn't have to say that Caitlin looked unbeatable back then. And by all estimations, she actually was, at least to anybody wearing a college uniform. She went almost a full calendar year without losing a collegiate race. It started at the NCAA Outdoor Meet, continued on through Cross Country, and rolled all the way through the indoor season. In case you weren't paying attention, Parker Valby has already copied the script of that movie, almost to the letter. The only thing about it is that now she's ahead of schedule. She won the NCAA outdoor meet, rolled it on through cross country and won the championship. And now she's indoors and breaking records. But in this version of the movie, 
She'd already shattered a record a month earlier than Caitlyn did. And that actually matters when you are a distance runner who is cycling through your training. I've said it before, and now I'm saying it again. Parker Balby was never supposed to be this good. I'm not saying she wasn't destined for greatness, but nobody who was evaluating her, at least only off of the results she gave us to work with in high school, would have seen this reign of dominance coming. Apparently, she spent much of her career battling injuries earlier on, and I'm sure she always knew what she was capable of. But even that part of the story can't be swept under the rug because I know for a fact that many distance runners deal with a bunch of chronic injuries. That doesn't make her special. What matters is that she's overcome them and she's running faster now than any woman had ever done in a college uniform. That is the movie we are watching now. So at this point, I'm going to make myself abundantly clear. Caitlin Toohey and now Parker Balby have changed the game in college distance running. They're both making a name for themselves and I'm not here to argue about which one is better. The one who proved that it could be done in the modern era or the one who seems to be improving upon that blueprint. But what I am saying is I'm not making another Parker Balby video, at least not until she forces me to do it. And at the rate she seems to be going, I might not have to wait all that long. SCA Track and Field Gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle, and what you wear should reflect that. Pick up yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop, or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me and this channel, so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.